banks are based on trust. If you can't trust that your deposit will be safe, then, well, we've got bigger problems. Hey, everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. A very important update today on the economy. I want to talk about what's happening with the market and, in particular, your banks. Will liquidity at your bank be a problem or not, especially in the coming days? There is a lot of collateral news coming out of last week's failure of Silicon Valley Bank. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this quick video and a couple banking and funding tips for you that I think will be helpful. As always, thanks for tuning in and subscribing if you're new. And if you think others should have this information, hit the like button. I'm going to talk about inflation, retail sales, and the state of the U.S. banking system. So thanks as always for your support. And if you want to support our team, all the research we do every single day that we've been doing for years, feel free to go download the Skip app in the App Store. Search Hello Skip. You'll be able to see the latest videos and most importantly, the latest funding opportunities, including grants, loans, and other financing that you can take advantage of. And we have a brand new banking partner. If you're thinking about getting a new business checking account, I'll explain why in a minute. We've now partnered with Bluevine to help business owners open up new checking accounts. Our partner link is right in the description. Again, if you're thinking about opening up a new business checking account, here's why I'm going to start right here. Here's a list of the top banks in the U.S. We know who's at the top. Chase, Bank of America, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, U.S. Bank Corp, Charles Schwab, PNC Financial Services, Truist, TD Bank, Capital One, Bank of New York. By the way, would love to hear what bank you use for your business in the comments. And if you have had a good experience with your bank so far, or if you've opened up new bank accounts in the last few days, here's what I want to point out. Silicon Valley Bank was number 18 of the country's largest banks. And in 36 hours, it went from $200 billion in assets to being taken over by the FDIC. It's now under new ownership, has a new CEO, but still many folks are pulling what money they had out of SVB, as well as First Republic Bank. And the main piece here is regional bank stocks are falling again because of this fear, this contagion. If you think something may happen like what happened with SVB and Signature Bank, you're more likely to pull money out of your bank and put it, let's say, in one of these top banks right here, which is bad for a lot of reason. Of course, any consolidation with a few top players does not help the little guys, especially smaller banks that you are trying to support. You can see once we get down to banks that are the 40 largest and below, they all have under $100 billion in assets. Meanwhile, when we look at the top banks, look at Chase right here, $3.7 trillion in total assets. So why am I pointing out these banks? Well, because I expect that there will continue to be concern in the coming weeks and months just because the federal government stepped in on Sunday night. Biden spoke Monday morning saying all depositors will be safe. And of course, I believe that. And that was the absolute right move to do, especially because this is not costing taxpayers any money. It's just restoring confidence in the U.S. banking system. Nearly everyone in the U.S has a bank account. Banks are based on trust. If you can't trust that your deposit will be safe, then, well, we've got bigger problems. So that's precisely what we've seen this week. Stocks went down Monday morning. Then they rallied yesterday on Tuesday. Now they're down again today because banks in Europe are now having a little bit of a scare, especially Credit Suisse, the Swiss bank, and the yield on two-year treasury also plunges and liquidity is falling there as well. We're also getting more economic data. The economy shows signs of cooling after a hot start to the year. Retail sales fell 0.4% in February. Here's how that looks over time. There was an uptick in January. They were down last month. Inflation also cooled in February. Now this is a positive sign and especially what's been happening with the banking system when the Fed next meets to talk about whether or not to raise interest rates. Remember, raising interest rates had a direct correlation with these bank failures because the banks had put a lot of these deposits in longer term bonds. It turns out that there were better places for them to be putting those deposits and they were actually losing money on the long term securities that they had put the deposits into. So I think that in the next Fed meeting, maybe Jerome Powell and his team will decide to keep interest rates the same. I think that's really important. And that decision will come next week. This could feature an intense 
intense debate over the benefits of holding rates unchanged, like I just mentioned, to provide more time to see if the banking crisis eases, that's incredibly important, versus continuing to raise rates to avoid creating new confusion over the central bank's approach to controlling inflation. So it's a tough job for the Fed. Would love to hear what do you think they should do next week? Should they raise rates like they've been doing to slow down inflation? Or should they not raise rates this time around to avoid potential further stress on the banking system? That's today's quick economic update. If you wanna see our latest grants, including our $1,000 grants we're giving away this month, you can enter in a few seconds. Use the link at the top of the description or go download our app. You'll see that grant option and several other funding options. So there it is. Go check out the latest version of our app so you don't miss out on funding, so you don't miss out on any other opportunities. And you can find out about partners like this, like our new business checking account partnership with Bluevine. Link to this also in the description. As always, thanks for liking this video and leaving a comment. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.